that. Unforgettable. Welcome to On the Fly. I'm Tony Luffman. An action-packed 14 games Saturday around the National and perhaps none bigger than this battle of two original six teams with the Bruins and Leafs renewing acquaintances at TD Garden. The last time they faced off, the 2024 playoffs as the Bruins ended the Leafs season for the seventh straight time they met in the playoffs, including four straight in game sevens. David Pasternak did the honors in that decisive game netting the overtime winner. Let's see if the trend would continue in the regular season. To Beantown we go. Well, it's not game seven of a Stanley Cup playoff series, but for late October, given the week it's been for both original six rivals, this one feels awfully big for the Leafs and the Bruins. 11.1% on the season, one of their last 14. Banged out in front. Now Nylander shoots, slamming one. Stop at the left leg. How about this save here? This is a rocket by Nylander that just sliding the other way is able to get the top of the pad on. These two teams are scoreless. That was a crisp opening 20. Matthews off the boards to the net on the back end. Can't get it through. Rebound scores. Matthew Nyes with the follow up. And the lead strike first. And then Matthew, one against four here. And as soon as he kicks it out and gets that little bit of a open ice, it draws players to him. Nobody's looking at the puck. Down by one. He didn't stop the period well. Change the complexion of the game. Now Zaka, right of it at Marshan. Pasternak shoots. He scores! Pasternak loves his Leafs. A power play goal. Bruins won. Leafs won. That's right in his wheelhouse where he scores on the power play and he does it again to tie this game. 20th goal for Pasternak in 29 games against Toronto. There's Marner able to sift his way through. Leafs are changing. Riley scores in game 800. Morgan Riley hits the back of the net and the Leafs regain the lead. Released by Riley had to have surprised Swayman. Pontry shoots, blocked, rebound, stole ours, denies. They score! So disappointed with what you did with your four-minute power play. You weren't able to tie the game. It's a crazy game, isn't it? High slot. Shoots. He whistled it wide. Rebound out in front. They score! It's Castling. Back door. Far post. Stuffs it home. Bruins three. Leafs two. Bills got 36 seconds apart. Stolars goes to the... Bits for the extra attacker. It goes to Tavares. Rink wide. Across. Matthews in front. Scores! What a pass from Mitch Marner. And the game is tied as Austin Matthews has his fourth of the year. Oh, man. Ruins three. Leafs three. Leafs ruins on a Saturday night. And it never disappoints. Oh. Give it away. If Brad Marshia does get the goal, Marshy meet Nifty. That would be his 402nd. A beauty of Boston tonight, 4-3, Bruins win. Play the right way, you know, pretty much all the way through, even when they scored late, we didn't get down. Um, you know, and, and you need a game like that to understand that you, you got to 
uh, work through it and build your foundation. And, um, you know, that's what we have to go through right now. So it's a good, ugly win for us. Um, you know, guys did a great job, so I think we should be happy. It takes time sometimes. It's not going to click, you know, perfectly right away. I think, um, you know, you just want to take positive steps in, in the right direction. Um, and you know, I thought tonight was uh, you know, competitively a much better game than we, we had the previous two. But um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we're playing games you know every other day now, and so you want to just continue to continue to put pieces together and continue to uh, dial in uh, systematic things. So regular season playoffs, it doesn't seem to matter. The Boston Bruins continue their domination over the Leafs, winning their eighth straight regular season meeting with the club following Saturday night's overtime thriller. In that span, the Bees have held Toronto's star-studded offense to just two goals against per game. the Calgary Flames are concerned, they're looking to end the perfection of the Winnipeg Jets. Calgary, meanwhile, by one and one to start this season. They'll get their leading goal scorer back. Hit the blocker of Comrade. Now underneath the stick, they jam away on it. Very shot blocked. They jam the net as Ball tries to get one on. That was blocked. Back he scores! Michael Backlund opens it up for the Flames early in Calgary. Well, a statement shift for the Calgary Flames. I mean, they come right out of the gate on the four check. Jets. Top-ranked power play going to work. Number one in the NHL. Mike goes through Wolf and Ehlers will bang it in. Wow. Didn't take long for the Jets, who even it up at one. And this is just a weird play. Flames power play. Lowry. Being short-handed into Connor. Shoot scores. Short-handed goal from Kyle Connor gives the Jets a 2-1 lead. Connor continues to light things up. Calgary hoping that the power play will work. Backlund, Mantha, slap pass here, he can't believe he missed it. Set up on the back door. Hart nearly lost control, then does give it up. Kuzmenko steal on to Anderson, pitching in. Sharp angles, hot scores! Sniper shot from Anderson, and he'll look for the stare down. And the giveaway here, and another bad angle shot. Calvary gets caught again. Beyond makes the shot, returns to Sandberg, his buddy, and that one misses. Off of all, score! What a strange goal for Sandberg off the glass, off Wolfen in. And with that, the Jets lead it 3-2. to two. What a full moon. This is unbelievable. You cannot blame Wolf for this. He has no clue where this puck is. The only person in the rink that sees it is Uyghur. He's trying to knock it out of harm's way. And it hits Wolf right in the back and then bounces in. On the Cavalry, back to Kuzmenko. Turn over to Kevin just whips it through traffic. I don't think Connor really had a good read on this at all. We got some river hockey now, baby. Here they go. Here we go. Comes to the Comrie and Weger taking exception. He's got the gloves off with Shifley. Weger and Shifley eager to go. Seven shots on the power play, the five on three for the Jets. And here is Wolf doing what he does so well. That is absolutely spectacular. Both the Jets on another power play. Down low. Work to Perfetti. His shot scores. Perfetti on the power play. Get the Jets a 4-3 lead. Well, this is a perfect shot, and the Jets are so lethal on this power play. They've been terrific all season long. And the Cowboys own Appleton scores. Mason Appleton hopes to ice it. 5-3 Jets. And the streak continues for the Winnipeg Jets. Puck drops. And it's over in Calgary. The Winnipeg Jets stay undefeated and move to 8 and oh to start the season Alexi Lafreniere is now signed with the club for the next seven seasons. A contract extension and a move reflective of the past, the present, and the future of the number one overall pick from four years ago. Makes the good defensive job. Quick makes a tough save on the shot. Fans react. That was Minchikov for the shot. A good save. Adam Edstrom is six foot seven. Puck right to the goal crease, and that nearly knocked off behind Dostal, but he stays focused and keeps it out. Watch Edstrom come in right here. He'll reach, knock the puck away. Now you've got Brodzinski gets knocked down. Brodzinski gets up, and boy, oh boy, Dostal may be his best save of the period. He just seems to be in so much control. Lacombe with a wraparound save. Quick, just got there in time. What a move 
by Jackson Lacombe. Yeah, Lacombe's a, a good offensive defenseman and showed some quickness there. Great play by Vetrano. He frees the puck up, and Terry is chopped down as he got to the slot. That's a penalty against the Rangers. Point blank chance for Troy Terry. Miller comes over. Little chop on the right hand of Terry. He's down the boards. Carlson got it to Troy Terry. The set up. Oh, what a save! Great save by Jonathan Quick. And this pass will come to McTavish in the slot. Here it comes from Troy Terry. And McTavish wasted no time at all. What a save. Lindgren steps up. Around for Panarin. Pass out in front. Score! Offside. Yeah, you see the puck. Offside from there. Yeah, this goal's coming back. We've been turning the play was offside. We have no goal. Outside Miller. Down low. Heedle. Comes around the net in front. They score. Will Cooley. And that one will count. All five players touch the puck on that play. Followed up by Kalorn. He gets wiped out along the boards. Penalty coming up to the Rangers. And McTavish comes to the aid as he goes after Edstrom. And they sling one another to the ice. Collins on the play, original penalty, 84, New York, two for boarding, 23, two for roughing. Carlson with speed up the right side. Cuts to the middle, makes the pass, deflected in! What a pass. What a nice play, and Selwiger redirects it home. And the Ducks are right back in, and it's 2-1. Goes to all heads to the bench. And loose in the circle. One more chance, saved by Quick for the stick, and it's over! Rangers win! Jonathan Quick, his 395th career win. So the Kings on an early power play. They've got to get their power play going. The power play 0 for 14 in the last five games. Back down low, centered, and a shot. Fiala, save is made. Fiala set up with a quick one-touch pass by Kopitar. That's the way you want to start the game. As Kempe moves up the right wing to the net, and a chance in tight on the forehand just wide. As Adrian Kempe drops that left shoulder, is able to steer and shield off the check and push of Nick Schmaltz. Third power play for the Kings in a scoreless game. And to Clark again. Clark looking. Took a shot. Score! LaFerriere was in line with that shot. I don't know if he got a touch on it. If he didn't, it's Brent Clark's goal. And the Kings have the first goal today. They're up 1-0. It might have been deflected, Nick, off of Sergachev. You get it through. You get a deflection, even though it's not yours. Kings up one. Kempe turning to his forehand, shooting, blocked. It's loose in front. Kopitar can't get it. Kings get it. Edmondson scores. Another defenseman picks up the loose change. Big bodies, Byfield. Kopitar, first goal for Edmondson is the Los Angeles King. Two nothing Kings. So now the power play. Yeah. Here's your chance. And Sergachev late in the power play. Keller, and he scores! Clayton Keller! And that lead for Los Angeles is cut in half as the captain buries one. Well, here it is. The lifeline that the Utah Hockey Club needed. Work into some open space. And how about the pass from Mikhail Sergachev? Right into the middle of the wheelhouse for Keller. Couldn't get a shot through off the draw. Clark now to the net. Loses the puck now. Edmondson a drive. Score! If it wasn't, Joel Edmondson with his second. The traffic is a factor, Nick, again. The Kings lead 3-1. He'll set it up in the offensive third. A little drop, Gunther. And now Kesselring. Thrown to the front, they score! And Logan Cooley, I think, got his stick on it. And that'll be Cools' first goal. You direct the puck towards the net, you never know what can happen. And Utah's right back in this game. Net is empty. 3-2 L.A. And the puck out of the zone. That's going to do it. As the Kings hold off the Utah Hockey Club here at Crypto.com Arena. The Caps are looking to make the early exit in last year's playoffs an ancient memory based on their sizzling early season play. A tough test awaited Saturday night in Tampa as they look to notch a sixth straight win. Highlights next. This overtime game winner is...
The Washington Capitals may have exited last season's playoffs in disappointing fashion, but they have been one of the feel-good stories in the early going of this campaign. After dropping their season opener to the Devils, the Caps have rattled off five straight victories. The last time the Caps started a season with at least six wins in their first seven games of a season was back in 2015-16 when they went 6-1-0. and As for the Alex Ovechkin goal watch, he has 50 of them throughout his career versus Tampa. That's tied for his second most versus any team. Only the Thrashers slash Jets franchise has allowed more to the great eight. Let's see if he can add to that total on Saturday. As Kucherov wheels in, snapshot Gensel, love stop Lindgren, puck behind him and still free. And finally the officials stop play as they lose sight of the puck. What a stop on that play. Goes indirect and has McMichael two on one. Cross ice pass, he elevated it well. That was a tough catch for Dubois. Look at that reach. He probably saved the goal. He certainly saved a terrific shooting chance. Here's Vlad, one. JV and Asimov, Nick Paul looks, shoots, SCORES! Nick Paul buries it and opens the scoring to make it 1-0, Tampa Bay. Watch 41 go to the front of the net, JV, he stops, he's a diversion, Nick Paul just wants to get it on target. Nice job by Asimov. Yeah, and it looks like JV might get that goal, Brian. He was, as you say, cutting across. I think he got the heel or just a bit of his blade on it. Back around the boards, met by McElroy. That shot is blocked, and here comes Glenn Denning. Glenn Denning down the left side, got a backhander. Oh, my goodness. Got the backhander away, and then his head seemed to collide with the crossbar. And in behind the play, we've got Littleburg, who's dropped him with Duhame. And Duhame wrestles him down. He's going to play that game of chicken. Well, do you feel lucky? Are you going to make it? Do you have enough room? Well, he gets cranked up, too, on the back check there by Saravari. And here's how the fight started. This is because Lilleberg is really tough in front of the net. He plays hard. He's got his stick on top of the guy all the time. You mentioned a couple of times, Dave, that Duhame doesn't shy away from anybody. Top line, buzzing around. Here's Gensel back to point. Kucherov to point. Knifing his way towards the front of the net, but watch Kucherov slip off to the side. Braden's going to give it to him and then get open. Nice little give and go. Braden Point came into this game with only 12 shots on goal for the season. And the Cavs now playing from behind. Their five-game win streak on the line. Here's Geeky! Sorelli gives it to him right in the wheelhouse. And look at that delivery. He knows where the net is. And look at him. He's about jumped out of his skates. He could have three or four goals already this season, but he's got that first one. Lightning get the bounce back. And you know who else needed a bounce back? The Big Cats. He needed a bounce back, and he got it. Career shutout number 35 for Andre Vasilevsky. Battled all day getting the systems down and again Tony and Hags again made an unbelievable play and uh, I was lucky enough for it to go in. Sure I think after I scored I told Paulie I said now all I want is a win and I think I always do want to win so it just helps that I got my first goal. This is a moment that you will remember for the rest of your life. What will you do with that puck? Yeah I think probably just put it somewhere you know I'm not too sure but again I cherish every moment and uh, I thank the fans a lot too. So after dropping his last three outings, Andre Vasilevsky has gotten back on track. Saturday was Vasilevsky's 35th shutout of his career, which started back in the 2014-15 season. In that time, only Marc-Andre Fleury and Connor Hellebuck have blanked the opposition more than Vasi has.
Not a lot of time between these two games, but a lot has happened. The veteran Matt Martin has signed a one-year contract with the New York Islanders. Pierre Engvall has been recalled up from Bridgeport. Romanoff is not going to be in this game, and the Islanders only had one other option on defense, so Dennis Chalowski is going in the lineup tonight. Off the faceoff win from Sasekis, Chalowski shot score! Dennis Chalowski just seconds into his Islanders debut this season has put the Islanders ahead 1-0. Liplikov wrapped it around the boards for Hagee and Nelson tied up. Pollock to the front. What a tip for Paul Mary and he scores! The first one was stopped. The second one he poked home. But that initial shot was headed well wide. If it wasn't for an acrobatic deflection from Kyle Paul Mary. Liplikov spins. Shoots. He missed it. Nelson the rebound. Score! Continues for Nelson. He makes it three nothing New York. Lundell feathers it ahead. Reinhardt's in all alone, and he scores. Sam Reinhardt gets one back. His sixth of the season. The Panthers are on the board. Got tied up with the goalie stick. And Chuck gives Varlamov a shot. He's without a stick. Put out in front. Oh, it's right at the net. They score. Kachuk, Kachin, Matthew Kachuk. And the Panthers are within a goal. Kachuk just wouldn't be denied. Here comes Belinskis. Lubis moves in. Back it goes. Samuskevich off the post. It stayed out. Oh, Mackie Samuskevich looking for the first goal of his career. And, you know, this thing bodes pretty well for the Panthers. Because the Islanders, Randy, they have lost some leads this year, especially late in games. Part of the reason four of their seven games have gone overtime this year. Here's Samuskevich, who came close last time. All the way into the wraparound, there it is! Mackey's got the first of his NHL career! And he's tied the game at three! Now you saw Paul Maurice there, fired up. He's got to love this. Yeah, it's not easy to do. You give up three goals and first 12 minutes of the first period, and it is tough mentally. Matthew Kachuk with a shot, score! Deflected in! Bennett was out in front, and the comeback Cats have the lead! That's four in a row! for Florida. Well, now the fragile Islanders, as I mentioned you know, a few times, have lost a lot of leads this year. They've lost a 3-0 lead tonight, and the Panthers could put the hammer down. Moves in and fires, and they score! Power play goal! And the Panthers have five in a row. Dobson steps up and keeps it moving. Now it's Forsling towards the empty net. Bingo! Gustav Forsling from his own goal line! And the Panthers with six consecutive goals stun the Islanders. Bounces back out to connect. He would rotate it back. He'll go across to wrist the line and he'll wind in fire. Save made rebound to Turi. He scores! Point number 500 for Sean Couturier. And the Flyers get the first one just a minute and 18 seconds in. Connect the tries the late man. Sealer who fires and scores! The Brisson shot, they score! Faber from the high slot may have gotten a piece of this, and Minnesota cuts the lead in half. Polino drives to the middle, he scores! And the Wild have tied it. Each cop, he's effective out high or down low. Here he is out high. Holes, wait, fires and scores! That may be as his first goal at the well. And the Flyers are back on top. It's three to two. Goldie moves through the middle. Fires tip saved by Airson Rebo. And they score! Eric Sinek on the power play. And Minnesota ties it again. Offensive zone draw here for the Wild after the icing call. Goudreau wins it. Trent into Brodine. Bogosian scores! Bogosian with a blast from the line. And Minnesota has taken the lead 4-3. This may have been tipped in the high slot. Man's getting anxious again very quickly. Here's Frost. The shot goes wide. Connect the Rams on the rebound. They score. And the Flyers now a power play goal on home ice this season. They tie the game at four. Chance here for Couturier. He scores. Couturier just kept hammering away. And finally, he touched it past Gustafson. Second. 
of the day for Couturier. Middleton with a shot. He scores! Somehow this leaks through Ersan. And it's 5-5. Five, five. Couturier battling a loose stick. Moves it up. That loose stick almost got in the way again. Now here's Michkov with a pass down low. Couturier into the middle. They score! I had a feeling that this line was not done. Empty net, Cates to Couturier for the hat trick. Second hat trick in regular season play, third of his career overall. The captain makes it 7 5 Philadelphia, and the hats are coming down. What a game. Sean Couturier and Travis Konechny both had career best performances on Saturday, both players notching five points in the win. The last time the Flyers had multiple players record five or more points in a single game, December of 07, Joffrey Lupul and R.J. Umberger both did so against the Pens. In 11 seasons with the Sharks, Tomas Hurdle lit the lamp 218 times in 712 games played. On Saturday, he had the unfamiliar task of facing San Jose for the very first time. We'll show you how it went after the break. With every hat trick, AstraZeneca will donate $3,000 to the V Foundation for cancer research. With unique, one-of-a-kind designs by Fanatics. And all the latest styles for every NHL team. Don't miss out. Shop now and get today's special offer. NHLshop.com, a Fanatics experience. Be sure to follow NHL Network on all your favorite social platforms. Power play scored the first goal of the game in Calgary. Let's see if they can do it again. Now Natchez with it, Spetsch, the goal, shoots, he scores! The power play continues to be smoking on the road. And the Hurricanes take a 1-0 lead. Gorgeous power play entry. And as we stated earlier, Spetschnikov, everything he shot this morning was in the back of the net. Oftentimes that translates. Quick release on his natural side. I mean, that's skill. Burns up top. Jackson Blake to the goal line. Ross Lebicka. Shot what a stop. The court robs Jack Drury. Huge save as the one second left in the power play. It's about to expire. He'll get it to Ajo. Ajo tries to sidestep that hit. It's worked across the rink. Orlov steered on. Loose cleaned up. What a play, Riker Evans in the goal crease with Larson. There's the tip opportunity off Joey Skate, then Larson, and looks like that's Larson's stick, but you got Evans as well diving in to stop that puck. Along the sideboard, he'll get it to Chatfield. That goes off of the mirrors. Svechnikov will hang on to it. Across Roslovic, and he rings the post. Roslovic, I mean, that's a heck of a job like Svechnikov did on the goal, receiving that on his natural side, winging it. Slavin hustles back, 3.15 left here in the second period. Blake with it, Blake taking a look, holding on, the score! What a pass! Jackson Blake to Jack Drury! Back to back, Jacks! 2-0 Carolina. The patience, defenseman leaving his feet, threading the needle. Chipped wide by Carrier, Jack Drury low to high, Slavin. Slavin blocked by Beneers, look out, break away! McCann, his second of the game. He scores! Jared McCann says, not this time. I won't be thwarted. 9.39 left. The Kraken cut the lead in half. First, the block shot by Matty Benier sending McCann. He's got to get on his horse. Got the back tracker. Double move by McCann. Jacob Slavin gets to it for Carolina. Here's Martin Hook. Right now, Jarvis in on a break. Did Decord ever bite? He sold the potential shot right here. Bites. Burakovsky had a little help there. His stall had a chance to keep it in and headed right back to the bench there. Is Decord now a long flip? Empty net. Bingo! Dimitri Orlov. Just like you draw it up. It's 4 1 Carolina. Long of stature, character, and tenure. Tonight, 
we celebrate Tyler Myers and his amazing recent milestone of playing 1,000 games in the National Hockey League. And here comes Rust with a burst of speed. Rust for Malkin, swoops in, Pedersen, scores! Tipped in by Anthony Beauvillier, and the former Canuck starts the scoring for Pittsburgh. The Delkovich, a great stop against Sprong on the redirect in tight. Good save by Ned. Not tested too much here early in this one. These shots for the Canucks. Canucks on their heels a bit here. And Beauvillier's got it again. Down low for Rust. Wrap around. Scores! Ryan Rust stuffs it home. And the Penguins, with all kinds of momentum out of the gate here in the second period, take a 2 nothing lead. Garland in the corner. Connor Garland. Pedersen scores! Spell relief. Elias Pedersen posting in his first of the year, and the Canucks are on the board. Pedersen's on the board. It's 2 1 Pittsburgh, but that's a huge goal. The Canucks are 2 on 1. Luger for Sherwood. Teddy Luger. Sherwood scores. Two quick goals for the Canucks. Keeper Sherwood off the on man rush, and it's a tie game. And in 43 seconds, a 2 0 Penguin lead. It's 2 2. Second is a Canuck for Kiefer Sherwood. Here's Miller with a step in the right wing. The Canucks, three tallies, and this game has been flipped on its ear. 65 seconds, a minute five for three goals for Vancouver. They're strong into the shot, rebound, they score! Steve They'll grab that puck. Baines has his first in the NHL, and the Canucks lead by a couple. A terrific feeling for our Steve Baines. Congratulations. Living a dream, playing for his hometown team and getting a standing ovation here halfway through the second period as he has his first in the National Hockey League. Still has it, the defense collide, Hawkins in alone, he scores! And Gino Machino brings the Penguins within one, although he's slow to get up after colliding into the post. Bowling pins fall down and Kenny Malkin picked it up on the other side. Paid the price for that one. And a one goal game now. Some shifts have been strung together, though. Yep. Just over 20 seconds to go. Here's Latan, Malkin, Carlson. Banks one down out of the reach of Raquel. DeHarnay gets it to Miller. Here's Besser at center. Blocked by Malkin. Following up is DeBrusk, and Malkin stopped that one as well. A couple seconds left. That's going to do it. Penguins had a push in the third. goals. Arshdeep Baines with his first in the NHL gets what proves to be the winner. Welcome to Las Vegas. The Sharks one and only stop of the season here and they will face a familiar face. Number 48 for the Vegas Golden Knights. Tomas Hurdle drafted by the Sharks back in 2012. Rounded up. He played over 700 games. Had about 500 points. And now he's on the other side for the Vegas Golden Knights. Man, the Golden Knights get a big piece of the puzzle back in their lineup tonight. William Carlson, one of the best all-around players in the league. And he makes his season debut tonight after missing the first eight games. Tanner Pearson and William Carlson, his first shift of the season. Up front along with Alexander Holtz. Holtz chips it for Carlson. Lays it off to Pearson. He scores! Tanner Pearson runs it home. William Carlson with his first shift to the season. Set it up. It's 1-0 Golden Knights early. Well, we wondered what type of impact Carlson would have after missing so much time. Well, why not just get it over with your first shift on the ice? Off the faceoff. Mark Stone out top. Eichel with a drive. And he scores! Right off the draw. Space one timer by Eichel, his third in the Golden Ice. Two quick goals. The San Jose just two regulation wins all time against Vegas in the regular season at 31 meetings. January of 2019 and November of 2022. How did it put it on that? He scores. How did it on the far side? And a perfect pass. Tomas Hurdle just feathers that through right to Howden. To Foley, another one of the 
top offensive players for the Sharks up to this point of the year. Eklund skates it out of the corner. The chance and the goal! That's Mikhail Granlund. He stuffs it in, and the Sharks are on the board. It's 3-1. to one. Sharks they go to their second power play of the game. Petrangelo time and flips it all the way down. Vanacek out to play it. Carlson got there. Vanacek's way out of the net. Carlson looking. Scores! It's a goal and an assist in the season debut for William Carlson. The shorty has been at 4 to 1. Stone. Out high Theodore. Dorofeyev scores. They walked it around and find Pavel Dorofeyev on his 24th birthday. He's made it 5 1 Vegas. Here's Nico Stern for the Sharks and he scores. Stern on the board. And the Sharks get one back here late in the second. And it's 6-3. Hurdle on the board with Howden and Dorfiev. Hurdle to Howden to Dorfiev. Holding. Now Dorfiev centered it. And Howden scores. Golden Knights shifting around in the offensive end. And the Golden Knights have the extra point. Brett Howden, his first two-goal game of his career. And the Golden Knights, a four-goal lead. Lifted ahead and a chance for Dodonov behind the D. Forehead, score! They sprung Dodonov. He outweighed Morazic. First of the year is the first of this game. The lob, Dodonov delays, protects the puck, and then not only backs off Morazic, but elevates it past him. He's been a busy netminder down there. A great look at Dodonov, understanding he's got to get that thing to settle. Wonderful poise. It's Dodonov on a B-way that opens the scoring tonight. Dodonov, goal scorer in this game. Around behind with a pass in front, and that stayed out. Ben somehow didn't cut that in. I'm not sure if Morazzi got a piece of it or caught the post, and Jamie Ben can't believe it. Ben's going to stay in that crease right now. He's likely going to look over at Morazic saying, how the heck did you stop this one? Now Harley, returned for Haskin, and Ben's in front. Chip a backhand, score! forward just overpowered Murphy in front of the net. He came on for Marchman. They obviously had outchanged the Hawks in the second period. There he is just trading paint. Oh, with deaf hands. It pops up in the air. He actually butts it to himself and then whacks it home. But whack too low. Bumped by Sagan to Miro Haskinen. Final seconds left on the power play. Shot score! Right upstairs by Matt Duchesne. With a second left The Stars have a 3-0 lead. Stankoven grabs it. They go down. And this, from Matt Duchesne, is sharp, extra, old sport cheddar. And the five and after that, a wraparound stop by Ottinger. Puck loose. They jam away. It's in. It. It's a goal on a scramble. As the Hawks get on the board, Ottinger on his back and the puck's in the net. And Smith just doesn't give up on this play. And uh, because of his determination, this puck ends up getting jammed in. You see, it's not covered, not covered. It's still fair game. The whistle hasn't gone. I think this is going to count. Maroon still out there. Long pass. Finds Bernard down the way with it. Scores! What a shot, Carter Bernard! Top corner. One goal game. Great. Wow! Great pass from Patty Maroon after a long shift. Looking for a change, the puck came to him, and he fired a saucer pass. I mean, right on the tape. A half slap clapper right on the tape right here. And this one had some velocity on it. About an 82-mile-an-hour wrister right there, and he points right to Maroon. It's exactly right. That pass was right on the tape. Bernard didn't even have to stop, and the Hawks are right in this hockey game. Stolen by Duchesne. Tyler Sagan ahead. Duchesne will catch up. The empty net dagger. No soft, gauzy hands of Duchesne restores the two. Goal lead. The Predators got off to a rocky start, dropping their first five, but things are starting to look up in Music City. On Saturday, the team had a chance to string together its third straight win with the Blue Jackets in town. That's next. If this team finds a way to win this game, Keep our eye on tonight. That was oh, is that the captain with a burst of speed on the forehand. The shot. Rebound. What a save! Stays out. An incredible stop for Tarasov. I don't know how.
how he got this rebound. It's a beautiful rush play. Comes off of him, but then he just stabs that leg out to the left. A hit for Diego. Oh, what a save! Scott Wentwood! Robbery! It's shuttled back to the goaltender by Stamkos. Oh, what a save by Wedgwood! What a big time save by Scott Wedgwood. 42.5 left on the clock. Back down to the corner. Fantilli, great pass. Marchenko, a chance. He scores! Kirill Marchenko buries it. On the setup, Adam Fantilli and Kirill Marchenko makes no mistake. one nothing Blue Jacket. He's on his backhand. He cradles the puck and he whips it to Marchenko. He's got to pull it on his backhand to forehand. That's a slick move by him, too. With Olivier Aston Reese shoots and scores on the back door. Zach Aston. Aston Reese has made it 2-0 Columbus. But everybody attacks the puck. This is called puck watching. You're too focused on the puck. Watch everybody go toward the puck carrier. Forsberg trails in behind. Juice! Score! Philip Forsberg ignites his team down a pair in the second. Sometimes a player comes along and does special things, and you carry him, you get him back in the game. And he had Tarasov going to the other side because of his release. It's hard to read as a goaltender. Now down low all by himself, McCarron. With the opening shift of the third period, ties it. Well, that's what you do when you want to set the tone. You put the fourth line out there and you tell them to do a job. Get in there, play with the puck, and good things happen. A bank to Warenski, steps, fires, he scores! Zach Warenski! And the Blue Jackets get it back, 3-2, Warenski. LeBanc in a battle with Forsberg, he upends him and gets it to the right man. Carey brings it to the middle. Shoots at the drop and scores! Carrier dials it up for the point. Through the traffic, it's all even again. 3-3. Three, three. Up on board because the fourth line came to play here. All three of them in front of the net. Tarasov. Marshall Zell makes a great move. Numbers down low. Marshall Zell. And he scores! Yes, sir! Predators win! Jonathan Marshall Zell being mobbed by the gold jersey. His first shift as a Predator in overtime. And he scores the game winner. Cole Caulfield needs one goal to become the first Habs player with seven or more goals in the team's first eight games since Brian Savage. First penalty of the game coming up here to Mike Pizzetta as he hit Torbchenko along the board, sits inside the blue line. Pizzetta's out of the box, Canadians kill off the power play, and now go on the attack. Armia, they hit for Evans, two on one. Evans waiting, shoots, goes! First of the year for Jake Evans. You kill the penalty, you do a great job. And he picks the top shelf on Bennington. What a beauty. Locked on its way to the goal. Falk goes after it. Caulfield comes up with it. Old Caulfield, the Mike Matheson. Throws it towards it. Great chance for Suzuki. And the next scores. Trying to get 77 an opportunity to get himself a goal. And right there, he reaches in. Johnny on the spot. Trying to get to the front. Drops it off for Suter. He shoots it. Tipped on goal. Puck loose there. Holloway. And they score! Holloway, I believe, jammed it in. You're looking for something right after a goal. Go do something positive, and getting a goal, that's the best case scenario. With Saad, again, numbers. Here's Shen right in on goal, and a save by Montembeau. Center, neighbors, and he scores! Neighbors in the neighborhood ties it at two! How about that? Brandon Saad does a great job of picking up that loose puck right to Jake Neighbors, who doesn't hesitate. And a high sticking call. He said the Canadians got to the power play. I didn't want to get you drinking. <laughs> Scores! New hook in front! Taps it high! Power play goal, and the Canadians take the lead. And what a pass from who else? Kirby Dock. What a beautiful pass across to New Hook. Knocked away by Hudson. Up for Nick Suzuki. Pass up through center. Caulfield has got it. Caulfield scores! Caulfield, seventh of the year. First Canadians player with seven or more goals in the team's first eight games since Brian Savage in 99-2000. He waits and he gets the underneath speed that's coming from Caulfield. And it's a great little chip out pass to a guy who's just burning up the ice. Here's Falk, hands it off for Savage with a shot. Stop, rebound off the post, loose in the crease and it stays up. Oh, what a chance down for the Blues. And that was tipped and it went out of play. What a sequence there for St. Louis. The Canadians will end their full game winless slide. And the fans appreciate it. They're on their feet in Montreal. And the Canadians are winning 5-2. to two. Buffalo Sabres power play. Paterka, Dahlin, Thompson. There it comes and the save is made. And the rebound score. 
Zucker gets the goal to put the Sabres on the board, and it's his first as a Buffalo Sabre. Buck played around by the Red Wings, not out. Good keep in. Cousins out of midair to the net. They score! They waved it off right away. There is no goal on the previous play. Number 17 from Buffalo gloves the puck into the net. Thompson is out there, along with Paterka. Thompson almost stealing. Here's a chance for Paterka. Thompson scores! This man is on a roll right now. Into the high slot, it comes for Debrinket. Back to him, score! Oh, Beautifully set up, Sider, Debrinket. And the Red Wings on the board, two to one. Huge goal with Buffalo having all the momentum so far in this period. The Turk is on it. Alex Tuck's oh. side of the net, now Rasmus Dahlin. For Thompson, score! Tage Thompson and TNT explodes as soon as that puck hit the stick. And the Sabres are up three to one. Sider, loose puck, scores, Rasmussen! He's got goals in consecutive games, and it's 3-2! to two. And don't you know it, 6'6", six six and the reach pays off to make it a one-shot game again. Sabres go back to the power play, and it's Raymond away. He's got some help with Petrie coming with him. Lucas Raymond, and he scores! Bingo! Lucas Raymond gets the goal, and we're all even at threes! A short-handed tally! For Detroit, their first of the season. Good job just getting the puck getting into the net, which you got to do in these situations. Overpass it, get in trouble. Score! Byram with the shot. I think that was deflected down low. Byram just throws this one to the net. Yep. The save is made and then hits the back leg of Petrie and goes in the net. Sabres won for three so far on the power play. Lead pass oh, up well. beauty to top. He's in the clear. Save made by Lyon. Big stop on Alex. Tuck to keep the Red Wings within a goal. One minute remaining in the third period. Sabres four, Red Wings three. Raymond in front for Kane. Oh, what a block there to dive and take away the passing lane. Far circle shot is blocked. Kane again off the post. Oh, my goodness. Empty net chance. The entire building couldn't believe that that puck didn't go in. And then Quinn with the empty net. 5-3 Buffalo. It's time for your top shelf plays of Saturday. The Wild have numbers at the Philly line. Polino drives to the middle. He scores! Watch him just put the head down and skate. He knows, and he just outskates the Flyers. They can't keep up. The power move to the middle. Great play from Marcus Polino. They jam the net as Ball tries to get one on. That was blocked back. He scores! Michael Backlund opens it up for the Flames. Early in Calgary. So this is just a perfect shot from traffic. And Backlund just wire it right up over top. Look to the head and a chance for Dodonov behind the D. Forehand, score! They sprung Dodonov. And after all the flurries at both ends, it's Dodonov on a B-way that opens the scoring tonight. Lindgren steps up. Around yeah. for Panarin. Pass out in front, score! When a goalie likes to laugh, Bill Gustafson from downtown. Bullseye. Gus shared with us the conversation he had with Flurry. We're up two, you know, using the tie. Only goal for Gus. How about that? After Homoglow cleaned our place for $19, we fired our old housekeeper. Homoglow tackled everything from our kitchen to our bathroom, all our laundry. You just pick a date, pick a cleaner, and enjoy a spotless house for $19. The wait is almost over. This crowd is ready for hockey. The world's best players take the ice to compete for their country. International best on best hockey comes to Boston as Bruin stars Brad Marchand of Team Canada and Charlie McAvoy of Team USA compete to see which hockey nation will reign. Canada, Finland, Sweden, USA. The Four Nations Face-Off. Tickets on sale October 29th. Nightly highlights, live games, and insightful analysis. Nobody covers the game like us. This is NHL Network. We have a four-game Sunday slate coming your way, including live action right here on NHL Network. 6 p.m. Eastern, Connor McDavid and the Oilers in action against the Red Wings. A 2003 Stanley Cup final rematch on tap in Newark between the Devils and the Ducks. The Avalanche looking to make it five in a row overall against the Senators in the nightcap. Three stars of the night, your third star, Matthew Kachuk. 
scored his first two goals of the season as part of a three-point night to help spark a comeback on Long Island for the reigning Stanley Cup champs. Second star of the night, Andre Vasilevsky. Vasi notched his first shutout of the season against the Capitals, making over 30 saves in the win. And the first star of the night, Sean Couturier, notched his second career hat trick as part of a five-point outing against the Wild. That'll wrap up this edition of On the Fly for all of us here at NHL Network. Thanks so much for watching. And now, the best in the NHL from Saturday. This is a hockey game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. Here's a look at the top 10 goals from the past week. Broken up, Bouchard lost his footing, gets back upright, March with those gloves it to himself, he's in, pass, score! Duchesne, set up by Marchman. Well, this is an elephantine goal in the complex of this afternoon. Mason Marchman, man, he's been phenomenal this afternoon. I mean, Fulton doesn't know who he is either as it's played right back. Over the line, Kraus is in. Kraus, he scores. Lawson Kraus. Well, this play started all the way back, and it's just connecting the dots. Lawson Kraus had a full head of steam, and Matthias Michelli knew it. Now great go ahead. Pass to Neighbors, now for Kapanen. He busts in, shoots, he scores! Kapanen, what a goal! And the Blues are back on top at 4-3. Well, that's certainly one way to get yourself back into the game. Gasperi Kapanen using his speed. And the fans, the great fans here in Salt Lake City behind their team. Holy Ochoa, Kazan, he scores! Oh, my! What a shot! What a move! He catches all the Bruins sleeping. No one expects the defenseman to get up in the rush. And how about the power move to the backhand? This is more like the game the Rangers like to play. In front, Lafreniere scores! Oh, what a pass from Adam Fox! He's kind of coming in slow, and I, I like to do that too, because you can kind of read a little bit where the players are going to be, where the defenders are kind of trying to get to their positioning. And as he went in there, he just realized he had open ice and yeah. just kept taking it. Aerial pass, Pacho bumps it down. Here's JG Pacho. Shoot save, rebound, score! Anders lead! Islanders lead it late! And Pacho does the smart thing, right? He shoots the puck. Anders Lee drives towards the net and gets a stick down on the ice and picks up the rebound. Beautiful play there by the three of those guys. Russ trying to go through the defense. Besser follows up. Gets the puck down into the rush centers. Myers stop. Best of the rebound scores. Tyler Myers won't celebrate his thousandth game with a goal just yet, but he's got an assist. Myers, after getting stopped, realizes he can backhand it to an oncoming Brock Besser. And Besser on the backhand, the Canucks 2 0. First NHL goal and his first point in the league on Thursday. Howden with a steal, busting in. Backhand score! Brett Howden on the steal! What a goal by Brett Howden. The first shot of the third period for Vegas off a great individual effort by Brett Howden. Carry it. Nice pass to Nyquist in the zone. Here comes Forsberg in alone. Shot score! Oh, holy shnikes! What a move by Philip Forsberg. Nashville gets the break and then they get on the board. What a move by Philip Forsberg, tearing through the middle. This is a Whoa. this is what Andrew Burnett wants to see. He wants to see these players coming with speed. Extra attacker coming on. Connor will wait for Ehlers to get on the ice. Here he is. Ehlers fires. Scores! Nikolai Ehlers wins it in overtime. And the Jets remain perfect. They're 7-0.
Delayed penalty in overtime, four on three with Connor Hellebutt out of the net, and Seattle is stuck. It wasn't easy, but the Jets just keep on winning, Kevin.